Today, college students not only graduate with a degree, but also thousands of dollars in debt. The national student loan debt has reached a record-breaking $1 trillion. Both President Obama and Republican candidate Mitt Romney are planning ways to stop that number from growing. Fisher College President Thomas McGovern sees the advantages to both presidential candidates' education plans, starting with President Obama. To increase the Pell Grants, and obviously any aid that students get eases the burden of tuition. But from uh, candidate Romney's perspective, he feels that um, less money um, is probably to everybody else's advantage and that perhaps, um, perhaps the colleges or the institutions of higher education, uh, more of that burden should fall on them. President McGovern says it is a very tough process to decide whether or not to raise tuition prices. It's part of a, an overall conversation in terms of revenue that's coming in next year and in expenses. And, and so it's not an easy formula. We College student Tess Murray hopes a new plan will restore her financial aid package. I used to be on a half ride that was need-based and because my family made $2,000 more than they projected that they would, I got all of that taken away. After this election, Mary and another student, Jonathan Havens, hope to get more help. More Pell Grants because grants you don't have to pay back. There was lower tuitions, like everybody can benefit from that. For the first time ever, student loan debt is higher than the average national credit card debt. For WEBN, I'm Erin Farley.